May the church come to order. And let us please stand for our praise and worship. And our scripture this morning is coming from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. That's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. And we'll say amen when we reach that place. Amen. amen. And the word reads, the the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and say thou unto them, mm -hmm. This saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt from the iron furnace saying obey my voice and do them according to all which I command you so shall ye be my people and I will be your God that I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey as it is this day then answered I and said, So be it, O Lord. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye, hear ye the words of this covenant, and do them. Amen. Amen. I read for you Jeremiah chapter 11, verses 1 through 6. And may the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and most of the doing of his word. Amen. 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 Let us bow. Uh, most gracious and heavenly Father, God, as we are standing here in your holy sanctuary yet again, God, we come before you humbly. Humbly saying thank you to heavenly Father because we are grateful for all the many things that you have done for us. Mm -hmm. God, humbly uh, uh, bowing before you in reverence because you are the true and living God and there is none like you to heavenly Father. God, as we honor you as King, God, we bow in our spirits before you right now, God, and we submit our will completely to yours, to Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. God, though we are standing physically, God, I pray that each and every heart and mind be prostrate before you right now, to yeah. Heavenly Father. Fully surrendering our desires, our, our will, our own agendas, to Heavenly Father, and fully letting go and submitting to your way in this place, God. God, the only way that we're going to see you move is if we decrease and you increase, yes. God. And we've come to experience you on this morning, God. We've come to celebrate you for who you are, God. We've come to acknowledge you for the, the true and living God that you are, dear Heavenly yes, Father. Lord. God, we understand that there is none like you, dear Heavenly Father. There is none in heaven or none on earth that can compare to who you are, dear Heavenly Father. God, without you, there would be none of us or none of this that is going on around us, dear Heavenly Father. So we acknowledge you as the great creator, as the almighty God, as the first and the last, the beginning yes. and the end, the king of kings, and the Lord of Lords. God, we acknowledge you as our protector. We, have, we, we, we acknowledge you as our as our fortress and as our shield, God. We, we acknowledge you as our provider, dear Heavenly Father. We acknowledge you as our Lord and our Savior. We acknowledge you as our friend, God. We acknowledge you for you, who you are in your totality, dear Heavenly Father. God, we, we accept you in your completeness, dear Heavenly yes, Father. God, we're not picking and choosing which the attributes of you, of, of you, dear Heavenly Father, Father, that we want to that we want to gravitate toward. But no, we gravitate to you and your fullness, dear Heavenly Father. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God. We are humbled before you in this place, God. God, we are standing here, God. Glory. In glory, the physical, but glory. bowed in the spiritual, God, as your sons and your daughters, dear Heavenly Father. God, we've come to this place to lift up and magnify your holy name, dear Heavenly Father, because you have made it very clear in your word that if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me, dear Heavenly Father. Yes. And God, we want men and women, boys and girls, all to be drawn to you, God. Yes. God, we want to be drawn to you a little bit more ourselves, dear Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And your word is clear. It says that if we draw not to you, that you draw not, draw not unto us, God. And God, we understand that when we are in your presence, God, everything that we need is there to Heavenly Father. The peace that we desire, God, that joy that we desire, God, the, the healing and the deliverance to Heavenly Father, all of it is in your presence, God. So Holy Spirit, we ask that you would move in this place, God, because we want to be in your presence, God, and we want you to have 
your way in this Dude, place like never right, before, man. God. As we worship you, God, as we lift up our voices, as we clap yes, our hands, yes, Heavenly yes, Father, yes, as we dance, as we run, as we do whatever it is to praise you, dear Heavenly Father, we want you to be glorified, dear Heavenly yes, Father. And in the yes. midst of you being glorified, God, we ask that you would rain down upon us, dear Heavenly Father. Yes. Touch each and every one from the youngest to the oldest like never yes. before in this do place, it. God. Do it. God, we count it a privilege to be here, dear Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. God, we don't know when our next time is going to be to where we can gather together as the sons and daughters of the Most High God. So, God, we're going to take, take advantage, advantage of, of this Lord time, dear Heavenly Father. We're going to magnify you and oh, glorify you, Heavenly Father, God. with the fruit of our lips, dear Heavenly Father, the with the clapping of our hands, God. Yes. We will lift up a shout to you in this place because, again, God, we don't know when our last time will be, God. Holy Spirit, have your way, God. Yes, do it. That is our one true desire. God, we consciously focus on you right now. We consciously turn our attention to you right now. And God, we consciously rebuke every distracting spirit right now yes, in the name of Jesus, dear Heavenly Jesus. Father. God, everything that will hinder us, dear Heavenly Father, from experiencing your glory in this place, God, we stand against it right now in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We cast out every 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 every, every spirit of uh, of pride and, 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 and arrogance, dear Heavenly Father. Every every Everyone, sexual God, and, and lustful spirit Jesus. right now in the name of yes. Jesus. Every spirit of distraction right in now the in the name of Jesus, Jesus God. We cast yeah. it out, God. We cast Everybody them all out right now in the name, in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus, God. Your word Lord. says that these signs will follow those who believe. They will be able to lay hands yes. on the sick yes. and they will be yes. healed. They will be able to cast they out devils up. in my name. So in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we cast out every demonic force Everyone right now in the name of Jesus, 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 God. And God, we pray that you set up a hedge of protection around this place yes. like yes. never Lord. before, yes. dear Heavenly yes. Father. So that we can experience so your Spirit glory, dear Heavenly Father, with no distractions, God. We lose your Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you. God, the things that are going on outside of these four walls, they don't matter right now. The only thing that matters is you, God. So, God, for each and every one that is, is traveling to this place right now, God, we ask that you get them here safely, dear Heavenly Father. Prepare their hearts and their minds right now to be in your presence, dear Heavenly Father. For each and every one at home or in their car or at work, God, watching via social media, dear Heavenly Father, God, we ask that you will rest in the place where they are right now as well, dear Heavenly Father. I've heard it said before, God, I pray that you would, would, would remove the space between us, God, so that we can all be in your presence right now, God. Because, God, in your presence is the fullness of joy, God. God, glorify yourself in this place, Father. God, sing through us. Speak through us, God. Let our testimonies be about you and you alone, dear Heavenly Father. Let these songs be about you and you alone, dear Heavenly Father. God, we are thankful for the word that you have prepared for us, God. We are thankful for the messenger, God, that has, has diligently sat before you, God. So, God, we ask you to speak clearly through them. Prepare our hearts. God, matter of fact, God, we prepare our hearts right now, God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. God, our hearts are, 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 are good ground right now, God, ready for the word That's of right, God. Lord. It's fixed on you today, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. God, we are prepared for you, dear Heavenly Father. And God, we just want you to be pleased with everything that we do in this place, yes, God. Lord. So again, God, we ask that you glorify yourself as we yes. lift you up and as we magnify your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you. And God, we'll be mindful to give you the praise, honor, Hallelujah. and glory because only you deserve it, dear Heavenly Father. And Today alone, is about you, alone, God. This time is about yes, you, God. The yes, focus alone, is alone, on yes, you, God. Yes, Lord, and we love you so much. And it's in your son, Jesus' name, that we Jesus do pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 The splendor of a king, clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, let all the earth rejoice, he wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide. Tremble at his voice, and tremble at his voice. The 
splendor of the King. Clothed in majesty, let all, let all the earth rejoice. Let all the earth rejoice. He wraps, he wraps himself in light. And darkness tries. And darkness tries to hide. And trembles. And trembles at his voice. And trembles at his voice. How great, how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all, and all will see how great, how great.
Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord
It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. Said, I'll bring, I'll bring you more than a song. For a song in itself is not what you have required. Said, you search, you search much deeper within. Through the way things appear, you're looking into my heart. Said, I'm coming back. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. And it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it. When it's all about you. Yes. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. And it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I made it. When it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Jesus, said it's all about you. Yes, Lord. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. Last time said it's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. you, Lord. Yeah. Father, we've come to this place today because it's all about Jesus right now. We come to this place, Father, because it's all about you, Lord. It's all about you being glorified and magnified, God. We've come together with one accord, with one mind right now, Lord, in one spirit right now, to say that it's all about you, Lord. It's always been about you, Lord. From the beginning to the end and everything in between, Lord. Even before the beginning, Lord, it was all about you, God. So we come to glorify you, Lord, right now and say, God, it's all about you. We've got health and strength in these mortal bodies because of you, Lord. We're closing our right mind, God, because it's all about you right now, God. Father, we did not get up this morning and get dressed and make our way here if it had not been for you, Lord, because it's all about you, Lord. If let's not get it twisted if you're here for any reason other than being all about you, Lord, it's going to come to naught, God. And so, Father, we come right now glorifying, magnifying. Hallelujah. Your holy name, God, because it is all about you. You are great, God. You are the great God. There are none that can be compared to you, none likened to you. Hallelujah. None equal to you, God. You are our great God. And we come to bow down before you to worship you, God. And to make sure you're uplifted, not just in this place. We want to make sure you're uplifted in this earth, God. We come to glorify your name, not just in this locality here. We want to go and clip your name around this entire world today, Lord. So we give the 
and glory and praise, Lord. Be because done. men and women and boys and girls need to know about a great God Hallelujah. that's been taking care of us, Hallelujah. that's been rebuking the devourer for our sake, that's been healing us, Hallelujah. that's been protecting us, that's a drew a line to where the enemy cannot cross. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, because you're that kind of great God right now. And Father, we, we come right now to put anything in and anybody Jesus. on notice right now. Hallelujah. There's nothing that's going to stop us Hallelujah. from glorifying us such a great God. Hallelujah. There's nothing going to stop us from serving such a great God. Hallelujah. Nothing or nobody. Hallelujah. The Bible says, what can separate us from the love of God? Nothing. Not persecution. Hallelujah. Not afflictions. Hallelujah. Nothing Hallelujah. can separate us from the love of God. Hallelujah. And because we have such a great love for me, I promise, Lord, I declare that I'm going to serve you, Lord, yes, with sir. gladness. Yes, I'm going to serve you, Lord, yes, in the midst of trial and yes, turmoil, sir. Lord. Yes, I'm going to serve you, Lord. Yes, when sir. things get real bad, I'm going to serve you. Yes, when they get really Hallelujah. good, I'm going to serve you, God. Hallelujah. I'm going to make sure that everybody knows that whatever it is that I can brag on is only because of the great God that I serve. So, Father, come on in this place. Be magnified and glorified in this place, Lord. Don't let us get distracted about who's here and who ain't here, God. Don't let us get distracted about what we done heard or what we may hear, God. Hallelujah. Let us be reminded that you're a great God. Hallelujah. 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 And that you're looking at our hearts right now, God. Yes, Lord. We're doing everything with a pure motive right now. Not because of what you've done for us, but because of who you are, Lord. Because of who you are. You've been so faithful to us, Lord. You've kept every promise, Lord. And I give you glory and praise for that. I thank you more so, Father, that you saw some worth in me, God. And you saved me. So I give you glory and praise, Lord. If you don't do nothing else, Lord, you've done more than enough because you saved me. You saved me, Lord. You saved me. And in my salvation, you tell me that I'm an heir and a joint heir with Jesus Christ. And so I thank you, Lord, right now. Holy Spirit, help us. We need your help right now to continue to usher in the, the presence of a holy God. We need your help right now. Mm -hmm. We need your help yes. to glorify and magnify him like he deserves today. So we yield our members to you right yes, now, yes, saying have your way in and we through us so that you may be glorified in this place. And we promise, Lord, we're going to continue to give you the praise, honor, and glory. Yes. And we promise, yes. Lord, we're going to make sure that nothing else gets it, That's not right. nothing. That's right. We just say that right now, Lord. So come on, Father. We love you right now. We love you so much, God. We desire to sit here in your presence until you say we can leave. Mm -hmm. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Only the church said amen. 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 Everybody, amen. I want to say amen. amen. It's all about you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's all about you, Jesus. It really is all about you. No matter what happens, mm -hmm. no matter what happens, it's all about you, Lord. We will not let anything, anything or anyone come and change our mind about that. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I know you were glad when they said unto you, let us go into the house of the Lord. Now, I didn't have too much celebration yesterday to where I can't celebrate God today. Listen, listen. We can sit there and celebrate the freedom of this country already, but if you still bound in sin, ain't no freedom for you. So I'm celebrating my freedom in Jesus because it's all about him. Just because you live in a free country don't mean you free. Uh, I, I, I'm going to say it again. Yeah, Just because you live in a free country don't mean you're free. Right. True freedom comes from being in, in the presence and having Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So we welcome you into the house of the Lord today. I'm so glad that I was able to get here and get here and I, and in my right mind and I'm going to glorify God today. I'm not going to anything or anybody once again keep me from giving God the due praise and honor that's for him today. And so I pray that's your prayer today, that you won't let nothing that happened yesterday, 
or this morning or Amen. any other time hinder you from Amen. giving God glory and praise because he still deserves it. Amen. He's been found faithful. He's still faithful. And so I pray today that my prayer is that those of you that are listening to the sound of my voice, that you would just right now determine in yourself that I'm not going to let nothing steal my praise. All right. It may have my attention for a minute, but it won't take my praise. Amen. We don't give God praise. See, somebody in a church been banned by this free country government to where they can't even sing praises to God today. Mm -hmm. And we still have that liberty. Amen. So I'm going to take the opportunity while I've got the chance to praise God Amen. and give him glory. Hallelujah. Yeah, ain't nobody going to shut my mouth. Right. I'm going to continue giving praise out in glory. I'm going to take that liberty. So as the worship leader comes to lead us in our first song this morning, I pray right now that you would join in and meet the Father. We'll have a time of testimonies and announcements. Amen. Welcome to worship leader, please. Give him some love. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going home. All right, sir. I'm going home. I'm going to leave this world behind. And I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. Can't wait to leave this world behind. Yes, Lord. I'm going home. I can't wait to get home. I can't wait to get home. I can't wait to leave this world behind I'm going home I can't wait to get home I can't wait to get home I'm gonna leave this world behind I'm going home. Said heaven's my home. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. This ain't. Heaven's my home. I'm going to leave this world behind. I'm going home. Say the heaven's my home. The heaven's my home. I can't wait to leave this world behind. I'm going home. I'm going.
to go. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> well, we have an opportunity oh, right now that we can give God all honor and glory. The testimony floor is open. Do you have any testimonies this morning? Give them some glory. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm really thankful and happy. Just, I just thank God for waking me up this morning. I thank God for loving me unconditionally. It, it doesn't matter to my growth. It doesn't matter if anybody else loves me. That's Amen. right. My God loves me. Amen. That's right. And I thank him for taking care of me consistently throughout my life. If it had not been for him on my side, Lord knows where I would be. And That's I right. Don't That's know right. Where that would be. But I just want to give him praises for blessing me once again. I go to the mailbox on on Wednesday, I'm going to check my mailbox often. It's been a few times where I don't check my mailbox so often to where the, they have put my mail back at the post office uh -huh. and told me I had to go. So I have a little issue with that. So he told me to go to the mailbox and uh, check it. So I go to the mailbox and lo and behold, I, uh, my manager is in Charleston. She isn't located here. Mm -hmm. So there was a card from her and a gift card. Amen. And I thank God because yeah. I, I, even though it was from her, I seen him because she said something on the card that said that said your work is is not unseen and you appreciate it for it. But I I received it from her, but I also received from God that yeah. it doesn't yeah. matter what man says or what man does. I don't need praises from him. That's right. He knows uh -huh. what I do. All right. And who and I know for That's sure right. it doesn't matter what man says. I know whose I am. Amen. So right. in in the Lord, and I just thank God for that. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We're gonna thank you. We're gonna thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, I got I got two uh, really really quick testimonies. First, I want to give a testimony that I should have gave him a couple weeks ago. Uh, me and my wife had went out and uh, we had realized that we needed to get an oil change in the car, and uh, we wanted to go to a certain place, but. They were, they were closed, so we went end up going to another place. And um, as we were pulling up, uh, there was a sign out over the the, uh, the base of the, the the place, and it said 25% off for veterans, and then it said 25% off for something else. Uh, uh, two things that, that didn't apply to me. Exactly. Uh, and so, so I mean, uh, I'm, I, was, I used to be used to getting oil changes on, you know, your little four-door car, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that Traverse, the, the oil changes are a little bit more expensive. Uh, so I was like, man, I really don't want to pay an arm and a leg. I'm looking at the prices. And, uh, you know, long story short, they rung us up, and it was the, the oil change was less than we thought. And it was like, oh, I just want to make sure that you rang this up right. They said, yeah, we went ahead and gave y'all 25%. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't want to talk for his favor because I think that's the yeah. sign was very clear uh -huh. who was clear. going to get the, yeah. the 25%. Uh -huh. And they didn't ask me not a single question uh -huh. uh, as, the far, as far as uh, if I'm in the military or anything. They was like, you know, we'll go ahead and give you this 25%. So I just praise right. God and I thank Amen. God for that. Amen. Amen. Uh, the next Amen. testimony I want to give to God is with this this whole this business thing. And and I just thank God for how he, he worked it out. Um, we did pre-orders for the T-shirts. And I just thank God that he literally had enough people to pre-order to do exactly what he wanted to do. Amen. Um, I, w I went to a, a shop, because I mean, all I knew was to go to a shop to try to get these t-shirts made. And I went, I'm looking at their prices, and I'm like, ooh, we. I'm like, God, I know how much you told me to, to, to do these shirts for. I was like, but, man, if I'm going to if I'm gonna be able to, you know, get these shirts made for this price, a lot of people have to buy this, you know, these shirts. So as I'm, we're approaching, the, the start to the pre-order and things like that, uh, God was like, hey, look up how much it would cost for a screen printing machine. I'm like, what? Screen they gotta be like thousands of dollars anyway, but I'm gonna look. I look, they only like 150 bucks. Wow. Uh, only 150 wow. bucks. So, <laughs> so, so, so in that moment when I seen that, God was like, so check this out. For the price it'll, it'll, you'll have to pay to get 10 shirts made, mm -hmm. you can take that same money and buy all this stuff and do it yourself. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for, for doing that. He, he gave yeah. me just enough money to get everything, to get the shirts and get all the stuff done. And then this past week, the last couple of days, I've been working on getting those shirts done. Now, I went to my dad's house yesterday, and he, he, he looked at me and looked at me as if I had been getting whooped by these shirts. I guess I look, I guess I look tired. But I thank God. I thank God that 
the truth be told, man, I may have looked tired, but the, the honest truth is I, I didn't feel tired at all. I mean, I was working, 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 but I just thank God for giving me the strength to Amen. endure the process Amen. and the learning right. curve of, of, of getting these shirts done and starting a business. Um, I just thank God for that because one of my biggest issues has always been wanting to be great immediately. Mm -hmm. If I start something, right. I want to be good immediately. Mm -hmm. process, God has been teaching me, no, sir, you got to learn this process. You got to grow. You got to trust me. And I've been trusting him and thanking him. Every time I got a shirt made the right way, I was like, thank you, God. Every time something <laughs> got done, I was, thank you, God. So I just thank him yes. publicly for the strength and the ability that he has given me to be a business owner and to do my business myself. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I want to give God some glory, if I may. I want to get a testimony um, about uh, what the Lord said, and He's true to His word. First of all, give an honor to God. Yeah. Uh, you know, God said that money was coming to the body of Christ, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get His Amen. testimony. Uh, for some reason, my bank account just will not go below a thousand dollars. Praise the Lord. like I'm supposed to be paying them and uh, even paying extra on my bill. Mm. <laughs> and I, I've, of course, been being obedient to God, giving mm -hmm. what he tells me to give, not just my tithe and my offering, mm -hmm. because I'm giving really the tithe and whatever uh, the offering he right. tells me to give. Right. So I've been obedient in that. And I keep saying, you know, I, I'm not questioning because I don't question because he said it was. That's right, brother. I just been glorifying and telling him, thank you, Lord. I said, but you know what? My, my, my bank account ain't went below. Hmm. And usually between paychecks, mm -hmm. it usually drop like low, low. Mm -hmm. I do mean low, low. And I thank God for that, that he's showing me that he said that body uh, money. money was coming mm -hmm. to the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. To the fact where he's told me to start blessing some people. And, you know, I mean, people, you know, like, I know but don't know, right. Right. just randomly say, yeah. bless this yeah. one, right. bless that one, right. bless this one, right. bless that one, ask this person for their cash right. app, ask this person for their cash app. And I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. You know, but I remember this. Something that he had me to post, he said, don't sow what you don't want to grow. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Right. And then he told me this right here, that you sow where you want to go. Mm -hmm. And so every time he told me, not that that's a motivation for me to sow to get somewhere, but he told me this right here, that when I obey him, right. he said when I obey him, if you're willing and obedient, you're going to hit the fat of the land, the mm -hmm. good land. I thank God for that. But let me Amen. tell you what God showed me this morning. And to keep me grounded, after he showed me, he said, yeah, look right there. Your bank account ain't went below. I'm like, oh, we, and they say we're in a family. Anyway, mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. The, the church of God is not in a family. All right, amen. We, we amen. in our winning season, we right. in our holiday season, we in our prosperous season. Thank you, Lord. But God brought me right on back down, Bishop. He took me to Deuteronomy 6. And this is what he said to me. He said now, verses 10 through 11, says, So it shall be when the Lord your God brings you into the land which he swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you large and beautiful cities which you did not build. Mm -hmm. Houses full of all good things mm -hmm. which you did not build. Mm -hmm. Heal not wells which you did not dig, vine vineyards and olive trees which you did not plant. Yeah. And when you have eaten mm -hmm. and are full, yeah. then beware lest you forget the Lord mm -hmm. who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So I want to thank God this morning for one thing. Put me back that when I go there and think I deserve something from him, mm -hmm. that he's showing me that it's only because of his good mercy and his grace and his yeah. goodness that I don't forget him. Mm -hmm. It's to remind me that he's still faithful yeah. in all things. I'm thanking yeah. God right now yeah. that he's still yeah. faithful. Yeah. And I won't forget, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Any other testimonies this morning? 
We thank you all for your testimonies. Continue to honor God because he deserves it. He deserves all of it. Yes, he does. He deserves all of it. I'm supposed to be doing announcements, ain't I? Yes, ma'am. Let me get myself together. Thank you for your testimonies this morning. I give God glory and praise because he's been found faithful, not just on a few things, but in all things. But I bring you your testimonies, this, I mean, <laughs> I bring you your announcements this morning. Thank you, Lord. I know we're still collecting our cans, right? Yes. Amen. Because we want to make sure that God is glorified because what? We're giving, we're still, we're sowing, right? right. right. We're sowing, right. amen. want to also remind us that uh, of the electrified fence that's out in the community garden out back. Let's continue to watch over our little ones and uh, continue to uh, make sure that they don't get out there. The, the fence is for to keep the deer out of the garden. So let us not be uh, let's not be neglectful in watching our little ones to where they, they you know something happened to them and want to be safe. Also, I know that we know about the new mandate that's been put in by the governor. I want to make sure that we say this right here. The church is exempt from that, but let me say this. Again, if there's anybody, anyone that feels that they need to wear a mask mm -hmm. to come to our worship service, mm -hmm. please feel free to do so. We we'll actually have a uh, 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 hand sanitizer and all of that, and we got we still got a little room in here that where you can social distance if you so desire, because we want to make sure that anybody when they come into the house of the Lord, they're not concerned about. That what that what the enemy done put out there. Amen. But I want to say this right off the bat. There's a bloodline around the house of God. Amen. If you really serve God and really love God and really believe in God for miraculously, there's a bloodline that the enemy cannot cross. Amen. Amen. You need Thank to you believe Paul. that. All right. You need to believe Paul. that. Yeah. But now, if you don't, that's all right. Ain't nobody gonna talk about you ain't walking in faith. Huh? You may be walking in wisdom. That's right. You probably walking in wisdom. And so we want to make sure that we say that to you. Come on in. Now listen, we want to also say to the saints, what the government put in place, it put in place. Now if y'all going out there, don't go there and cause the folks let you up in there. You walk around the supermarket without a mask on for two hours, and then you get up to the front because nobody said nothing to you, and now they say, okay, you can't check out without a mask. I don't want to hear about no saints throwing stuff, <laughs> especially no fit. Not up in the supermarket. We're going to glorify God in the supermarket, ain't we? Amen. Amen. With our mask on. Yeah, amen. We're going to glorify God. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're going to glorify him. In the mask or without the mask. But I want us to take the liberty that God has got given us. We're going to glorify God while we still got the chance. God that gave us some liberties. Yeah. We're going to continue. Y'all want to glorify God today? Amen. Yes, ma'am. Well, you know it's that time right now. Amen. Oh, Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Time. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You, Lord. Time for you to glorify him. Thank you for keeping and it sustaining me. Okay, amen. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Now, the ushers have prepared themselves uh, already, and we pray that you already prepared yourself before you came this way, that we want to worship God through our giving. Uh, we can't beat him. But we want to try it. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. As the ushers come forward, please let us uh, worship our God. Let me praise you forever and ever and ever. Blessings and glory and honor, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Father, we do give you blessings, glory, and honor right now. And thank you for such a privilege and an opportunity to give back to you, Lord. You have lavishly and abundantly blessed us, Lord, beyond measure. And so, Father, thank you for the privilege to give back to you. Father, thank you for the harvest that's going to come forth right now. Thank you, Lord, for Jesus, most yes, of all, who Lord. gave his best, Lord, that we may have the better. We thank you for him, and it's in his precious name we do pray. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me.
dear God, we do thank you for blessing us. Uh, and he's a good, good blesser, too. He blessed real good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, the worship leader is going to come back and lead us in another song. And then following that, we're all going to stand uh, to receive Bishop uh, and prepare our hearts to see the word of God today. Amen. Uh, Amen. As we sing our hymn of affirmation, I will trust the Lord. Will you pray with me right now as I uplift Bishop, please? Mm -hmm. Father, we are thanking you right now, Lord, in advance, in advance to what you have prepared for your people, Lord. Yes, Lord, we thank you thus far for everything that you've already done and what you are doing. But we just want to give you glory in advance for what you prepared for your people. We know, God, that you prepared a table for us, Lord. And we come, Father, to make sure that we eat of it, God, and we give you the glory and praise. So I hold Bishop before you right now, Father, thanking you for this right now word. Thanking you for his due diligence and laboring over this word to bring it forth to your people. Now help him, Lord. Help him right now with his delivery, God. Give him preaching power from the throne room of glory right now. Prop him up where he may be leaning, God, and encourage him. Don't let him look upon our faces and be dismayed, but let him preach an uncompromising word right now that you may be glorified. And while you're touching Bishop, Father, we pray that you will not leave any of us out, none of us, Touch us all and give us teachable spirits and receptive hearts. Make, it, make our hearts pliable right now so this word can fall on good ground and bring forth a harvest in due season. Holy Spirit, our prayer is that we hear and we obey and that we want you to have your way. And it's in Jesus' holy and mighty it's name we do name. pray. And only those agree said amen. 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 I say amen as well. Amen. Come on. Amen. Let's worship the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord, my mind is stayed on you. Lord, my mind is stayed on you. Jesus. And I will do what you want me to do. Yes, I'll do what you want me to do. Because my mind is staying on you. Lord, my mind is staying on you. Lord, my mind is staying on you. And I will go. Yes, I'll go where you want me to go. Yes, Father, thank you. Because my mind is safe on you. Lord, my mind is safe on you. Yes. Lord, my mind is safe. I'll say what you want me to say, because my mind is staying on you. Lord, my mind is staying on you. Lord, my mind is staying on you.
does my mind stay on you? Lord, my mind is stay on you. Lord, my mind is stay on you. And I will do what you want me to do. Yes, I'll do what you want me to do. Because my mind is safe on you. Because my mind is safe on you. Because my
Uh, we're going to look at verse number five. Brother Timothy, you can put one through five on there. We're going to just read uh -uh. verse five, uh, and then I'll let you take your seats, and then we'll go from one to five, okay? Amen. amen. Philippians chapter two, verse number five. When we've made it, say everybody say amen, Father. Amen. 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 So our, our Bible declares in, the, in, in Philippians chapter two, verse five, let this mind on, be sir. in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. May the Lord have a blessing to the ears, the readers, and the doers of his word. You may be seated in the presence of our life changing King, the Lord Jesus Christ. Under the anointing the power of the Holy Spirit of Almighty God, I would like to use for a title for us today Stay Focused. Amen. Stay focused. Thank you, Jesus. Stay Focused. Thank you, Jesus. Stay Focus. Lord, my mind is stayed on you is singing about staying focused. All right. I didn't tell John that I was going to preach about this today. Holy Ghost knew I was going to preach about And listen, I've been hearing, I've been hearing staying focused. You, you are our focus. John said that in the prayer. You are our focus. I think Reverend Stevenson mentioned something about being focused. Stay focused is what the Holy Spirit wants me to talk to That's us right. about today. Stay, mm, stay focused. focused. You right. need to stay focused. What does the word focus mean? We're going to look at this. We're going to look at this at this definition. Your center of interest. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your center of interest. Say that for me. Your, Your center, center of, of interest. interest. Stay focused. Stay. Watch this. Stay means to remain. Mm -hmm. The word stay means to remain. Keep your Focus. Amen. So we're gonna start at verse number one. I'm gonna read back to verse number five, and we're gonna move on in this in this this message today. It's important that we stay focused. Let me tell you why it's important because there are so many things that are going on, and because right. of all the things that are going on, uh, D, uh, we're losing focus. We're letting things steal our attention. Mm -hmm. right. We're we're allowing things to take a higher precedence mm -hmm. than what God can say. We're we're forgetting. Mm -hmm. Who our real first love is. Mm -hmm. us, Lord. And so we have to make sure that we stay focused. Yes. Your center of interest. Who, who's, who's the center of, of your interest? Who's most important? Who has priority in your life? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you stay focused. That you don't allow anything that's going on in this world mm -hmm. to steal your focus or change mm -hmm. the center of your interest. And so Philippians chapter 2, starting at verse number 1. If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercy, fulfill ye my joy. See, the reason God wants you to stay focused is so nothing steals your joy. Right. Nothing That's steals right. your praise. Yeah. Nothing yeah. keeps you from doing what you know you ought to be doing. That's being salt and light in this world. Amen. See, if, if, if anything that's going on in this world can steal your focus, steal your joy, then that means the sin of your interest to change. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's important, most important to you has changed. Your focus has shifted. We're not, we're not talking about, this is not the, the focus we're talking about. We're not talking about adjusting your sight right now. That's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about bringing things into a clear, that's not what we're talking about right now. Because you are clear. <laughs> this is the year of clarity. You already right. clear about it. Right. You just, you just, you just, listen, your, your sight has already been fine-tuned already. So that's not what you need. You you seeing clearer? You just you just you just allowing things to steal your center of interest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. I need for you to do stay focused so that you don't lose your joy. So because I love what he's saying, he says so that you fulfill my joy. All right. Come on, Lord. Thank you. So that you fulfill my joy. There are things that need to be fulfilled that can't be fulfilled. If you lose your center of interest, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because everybody, listen, everybody don't have a plan and a destiny for you. Only mm -hmm. God has a pre-planned, prepared Amen. destiny Amen. for you. Thank You're on the road. You're walking with Jesus right now. You're on your way to your destiny right now. And so the enemy want to derail you. If he can do anything to cause you to lose your center of interest, right. he knows you'll never make it to the place where God wants you to be. In the midst of what's going on in your world. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Help me, Lord. 
Watch this now. He said, verse 2, fulfilling ye my joy that ye may be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. See what it's talking about, Timothy? It's talking about staying focused. Yeah. So we are not double-minded, tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine or every report that we receive. Mm -hmm. Verse 3, let nothing be done through strife and vainglory, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem, watch this, others better than themselves. Watch this now. This is important. Look not every man on his own things, which is what our world is doing right now. Right. Our world is focused on their own, my own, your own. You know how I know that, John? Because there's still no no toilet paper to be found. Ah. Still no, you, you still can't hardly get, you can't exactly. get no mask, you can't get no glove, you can't get no hand sanitizer. You know why? Because everybody is looking on their own self, right. paying attention to their own self, right. and not concerned about nobody else. Right. So God said, I need for you to stay focused. And if you stay focused, regardless of what they do, my God shall supply all oh, my needs. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So, so, see, you can't lose focus because, see, if you lose focus, you'll be out there looking for a meal in a haystack. Mm -hmm. You'll be out there trying to find things that in your naturalism you can't find. In your natural eye, you can't see it. But if you stay in the spirit and keep your eyes on God, he said he shall direct all your paths. He'll lead you into the right places Amen. where he can already stash some stuff for you yeah. and can't nobody touch yeah. you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, Verse number Lord. four says, let not every man on his own, on his own things, but every man also on things of others. So now we get to verse number five because he said, let this mind be in you. What mind? What he just said from verse one to verse four. Right. He said, I need for this to be your mind, but that ain't mm -hmm. the mind of the world, though. Right. Mm -hmm. See, the world right now, the world right now is pinching pennies, but money comes to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. See, money comes to the body of Christ. We ain't pinching pennies. Thank you, Father. Yeah. 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 See, the yeah. world is pinching pennies right now. See, because the world is trying to do everything on their own. God said, God, but if I can get you to stay focused, mm -hmm. I told you money coming to the body of Christ. All right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank see, you, Father. See, yeah. I, I, I got a, I got Somewhere, and many people to walk past it, and it's sitting there waiting for you to walk past it because it's your heart. Amen. Amen. I don't know how to shout. Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, "You ain't got. If you stay focused, you ain't got to go looking for nothing. I need you to have this kind of mind. I need you to stay focused, have this kind of mind. Watch this here. See, because I am concerned about you. I do. I do care about you. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I do care about you." So I need for you to stay focused. No matter what's going on, regardless of what's going on in this world, he said, don't lose sight of what's most important. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't lose sight of what, what's most important. So let's look at what's most important. Who's most important? Who is most mm -hmm. important? Jesus is most important. That's right. It's all about Jesus. Jesus is most important right now because, see, Jesus is the way. Mm -hmm. He's the truth. And he's the lie. All right. You got to remember now, if I stay focused, listen what Jesus, Jesus said. If you follow me, I will make you fisher of men. Mm -hmm. Listen, all you got to do is stay focused and follow me. You won't have no problem. Right. It's when you decide that you're going to take your eye off of me and decide to follow somebody else is when you start having problems. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's right. true. Because you ain't got to worry about a thing. No, no, ain't got the song God yeah. gave us. Yeah. Yeah. We don't just sing that song. Amen. We live that song. Amen. 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 We live that song. We're not just singing that song. Lord, my mind is stayed on you. How do we, how do we, how do we keep our, we acknowledge him in how many ways? All our ways. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. We acknowledge him. We trust the Lord. And we acknowledge him in all our ways. Lean not to our own understanding and allow him to direct our path. That's right. Because That's the right. steps of a right man or woman is ordered That's by the Lord. Lord. That's right. You're not taking yourself nowhere. You're guided by the Spirit. As many as are led by my Spirit are my sons and daughters. Mm. Amen. So I, if, if I could just stay focused. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, watch this. He said, the Holy Spirit will help you to maintain your focal point. Mm -hmm. He said, stay focused. Stay focused. The Holy Spirit will help you to maintain 
the point, watch this here, the bullseye, the, the direction that you're supposed to stay focused on. He said, regardless of what is happening in this world, he said, because regardless of what was going on in the world, he said, Jesus stayed focused. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to walk this yeah. back down for you. He said, Jesus stayed focused regardless of what was going on in the world. And he said, because we're the body of Christ, Atala, we need to stay focused. Regardless of what's going on in the world. Okay, listen, you know the reason things are going on in the world is going on in the world to give the body of Christ something to do, to do no All that. Right. All right. Because All right. listen, listen now, listen now. When he was hungry, how, how, how did we feed you? When you fed the least of these. That's right. Right. When did we give you something to drink? When you gave them something to drink? When did we close you? When was you naked and clothed? Yeah. When you closed that naked one? Yeah. When did we visit you when you were sick and shut in? When you went to visit them? Right. That's when you did it for me. Amen. So if nothing happens in this world, you wouldn't have nothing to do. Amen. All right now. True. Come on, sir. True. Yeah. So true. So the things that are going on in this world, what this is, is to keep you gainfully employed. All right. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yeah. In his kingdom. Amen. Mm -hmm. If I stay focused, I'll know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I keep my center of interest, I'll understand that. Mm -hmm. Let, let's walk this yeah. thing down and let's look at it. Okay. We, know, we got a lot of scripture to cover, but we're going to cover it all. Okay. Let's look at Luke chapter 4. Let's start over there. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Be, you're going to be busy. You're going to be busy up there today on that camera, man. Amen. Luke chapter 4. Watch this, is the, watch this now because, because Jesus stands up and he lets them know what his center of interest is. Yeah. He makes it clear that he just didn't come here just to come here. He came here to do a particular thing. He was sent to do a certain thing. He didn't just come here and say, okay, I'm going to look for something to do. Right. God didn't leave right. us here to look for something to do. He left us here to do something. Right, mm -hmm. right. right. In Luke chapter 4, starting at verse number 16, and we're going to read to verse number 20. We're going to read to verse 20. Luke 4, 16 to 20. Amen. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Amen. This was said. And he came to Nazareth where he had been bought up. And as his custom was, watch this, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up, watch this, for to read. Now notice he's not just going to read just anything. That's a particular thing that he needs to read. Our problem, I tell you, is we read things we shouldn't be reading. All right. All right. And All right. we're allowing the things that we shouldn't be reading to steal our focus, yes. to yes. recenter, to give us another interest. Mm -hmm. It causes us to be interested in other things. It's just like advertisement. People advertise so they can steal your interest. Mm. So they can yeah. get you interested in their product. Right. Yeah. Come That's on, right. Man. Come That's on, right. Man. Come on, man. Amen. Verse 17. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Say, that's the Bible. That's, that's the Bible. Bible. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Yeah. Listen to it. Listen to it. Because he's getting ready to show them the focus of his, of his interest. He said this, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. What, what's upon me? The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Y'all hear this? To preach deliverance to the captive, to recover sight to the blind, and to set liberty to them that are bruised, verse 19, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Here go verse number 20, because he's showing you in verse number 20, I'm going to stay focused. I'm uh, not going to fear all right. 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 Yeah. right. And, and watch this. And he closed the book, mm. and he gave it again to the minister, and he sat down. Mm. And the eyes of all of them that were in the synagogue was fastened on him. Notice what he did. Notice what he did. He told them what his center of focus was. Mm -hmm. He told them what he came to do. And after he finished that, he closed the book and sat down. And sat down. Because he made it clear to the people what he came to do. And yeah. I'm not deviating from that. All right. Come Listen on, to what God is saying to you. I need you to stay focused. And I need you to declare and decree that you ain't deviating from that. Amen. Amen. Right. You ain't deviating from that because what this is, it is written. You know how it's written? Because I know you wrote it down. All right. All right. All right. You wrote yeah. it down. So Amen. you can go back and see what he's saying. Right. It is written. Yeah. I know what God said. How do you know? Because I wrote it down. All right. You know why we know what God said? Because he had him to write it down. That's good, sir. Watch this now, John 18. Let's go to John's Gospel, chapter 18. We, we got somewhere to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's walk it down, sir. 
Jesus wanted to let, I got to show you that he stayed focused. He stayed focused regardless of what was going on. He stayed focused. John chapter 18, verse 37. Amen. Yeah, John 18, verse number 37. Somebody say, stay focused. Stay, stay focused. focused. You got to understand, the world is going to continue to be in turmoil. It's going to it's, it's going to oh, continue right. to be out of order. It's going to stay that way because sin is in our world. So as long as sin is in the world, that's, the world is not going to be in order. That's right. Look what God did in the beginning. Look, the, the world was chaotic, and the Bible said, in the beginning, God mm -hmm. created the heavens and the earth. Watch this. And the Spirit of God began to move mm -hmm. over the face of the deep. Watch this now. That's bringing chaoticness into order. Mm -hmm. And God began to speak and things began to come in, in order. 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 Amen. Right. Amen. Well, watch this now. He puts us in the Garden of Eden and everything was in order until man got out of order. That's yeah. right. That's and right. man has been out of order yeah. ever since. So yeah. this world is not going to be in order mm -hmm. until yeah. Jesus comes back. All right. right. Mm -hmm. Not this world. Come on here. Come on. We, we in John 18, verse 37. Y'all ready? Amen. Amen. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou king then? Jesus answered, watch this, Thou said that I am a king. Watch this. But this end was I born. Mm. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. On, Everyone that is of the truth, heareth my voice. Y'all see this, right? He, listen, look at what he's doing right now, family. Look what he's doing. He's showing them that he, this is my focus. Mm -hmm. I'm staying focused. I'm not deviating off what I've been sent to do. You can say what you want, but let me tell you, let me tell you why I'm here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let yeah. me tell you what direction I'm really going. Yeah. Yeah. Because you just guess it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me go on and hit you to where I'm going. He said, for this cause I was born, for this reason I was born, and this is what I came to do. He made sure that everybody knew what his focus was. Family, we got to stay focused. Stay All right. Focused. Matthew 16. Told you we got somewhere to go. All right. Walk it down, sir. Walk it down, sir. Jesus made sure that everybody understand. Don't, don't get it twisted. I didn't come here just, just to hang out with you. I didn't come in here just, just for, for us to be friends. No, I got some, some business to take care of. I'm about my father's business. business. That's right. Is that not what we're about, family? Yes. We're, we're about our father's about, business. That's what we're supposed to be about. Regardless of what the world is doing, we're about we're our father's focus. business. That's right. Matthew 16, starting at verse 22 to verse 24. Well, we'll read 21 to 24. Amen. Matthew 16, 21 to 24. No matter what was going on in the world, Jesus stayed focused, Linda. And we got to stay focused because this world is ever changing. Uh -huh. The world is always changing their mind. Mm -hmm. they, they, listen, from, I mean, from before a season changed, the world has changed their mind. Right. Okay, I'm tired yeah. of this already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. I'm tired of this already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matthew 16, starting verse 21. Y'all ready? Amen. From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and, watch now, and be killed and be raised again the third day. Y'all see where he at? Yes. Then Peter took him and, and began to rebuke him, saying, watch now, be it far from thee, Lord. This shall not be unto thee. Here, go, here, here we go, verse 23. It, it, it. But he turned, this is Jesus, turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Uh -huh. Thou art an offense unto me. For thou savoreth not the things uh, that, are, uh, that be of God, but, watch this, the things that be of man. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? This is what the church is messing up at. Mm -hmm. This is what the church is messing up at. The, the, the world is out here saying things, but they're not saying things that's uh -huh. pertaining to God. They're saying things contrary, and we got to rebuke them Amen. and tell them, get thee behind me with that. All, All right. right. Come All on, right. Family. Come on, Yes, family. sir. You, you have to let this world know, listen, let, let, me, let me tell you where the center of my interest is. Mm -hmm. 
It's not all this shenanigans out here. Right. It's not, not all this propaganda and this foolishness out here. That what is mean? not the center of my focus. Mm -hmm. That's not my purpose for being here. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to let you make it my business. Because that's your father's business. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. That's yeah. your father's business. Yeah. Because, uh -huh. see, my father is a healer. Yeah. That's right. All right. Amen. He is. So that's my father. Amen. Yeah. My father Amen. take care of all of my needs. That's what my father did. Mm -hmm. My father said, if I separate myself from this world, all these diseases and plagues will not be put on my all life. Right. That's Amen. what I see, y'all. Yeah. Amen. All right. Well, yes, sir. That's why you got to stay focused and you cannot allow your focus to turn and, 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 and line up with the world right That's now. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right, sir. Because the world so far from God. Mm -hmm. I say they so far from God right That's now. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. I, and so I heard this question posed again. So, so, so when is the church, mm -hmm. when is the church going to really stand up and be the church? When the church start doing what Second uh, Chronicles seven fourteen says, that's right. That's when we're gonna stand up. Mm. When we walk without fear and walk in boldness, that's when the church is gonna stand up. Mm. When the church decides that they're not gonna let fear come into their space, mm. that's when the church is gonna stand up. Mm -hmm. right. mm. Verse number twenty four. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, "Watch this. If any man will come after me, let him." Deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let him deny himself. That's the right. world is yet to deny itself. Mm. That's right. Yeah. It's selfish. The, the, the world is selfish. Everything, listen, I, I can love who I want to. I, I can live how I want to, go where I want to. I can do what I want to. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what the world is right now. Well, the church, we as the church cannot act like that. We can't have that mindset. Because if we do, then the world has nowhere to go. Right. Now mm -hmm. the whole world is dark now. Mm -hmm. oh, There's wow. no light in the world at all. Mm -hmm. Preach, sir. Preach. Watch this now. You got to make sure you understand what God is saying now. Jesus lets the world know that regardless of what's going on, he stay focused. He keeps letting everybody know. Then the way, hold on a minute. That, that may be the direction you're going, but that's not the center mm -hmm. of my interest. Mm -hmm. See, the Lord had me to say to us, that's not important. Mm -hmm. And if you're right. not walking in the spirit, you can't, you can't, you can't wrap your mind around that. Mm -hmm. God yeah. says, yeah. listen, right. let the dead bury the dead. Bury the dead. Yes, All right. Hallelujah. All right. And follow me. And follow me. Mm -hmm. You leave that alone. Let them do that. If that's, don't make me shout because I've given in my toes already. All right. You yes. let them do that food yeah. if that's what they want to do, but yes. you come on here and follow me. Follow me. Amen. Follow that's the direction they want to go? That's the kind of life they want to live? Let them live it. You come on here, we got something to do. Because I came that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Oh, you can't get mad with the truth. Mm -hmm. That's right, Bishop. Watch this now. Luke chapter 22. Luke chapter 22. I'm going to move as fast as I can. We got a lot to cover. Luke chapter 22. I promise y'all I'll stop when the Lord tell me to. <laughs> Luke chapter 22, we're going to start at verse 42 to 44. <clears throat> well, I guess it's verse 39 to 44. Mm -hmm. All right. 39 to 44. Jesus is in the garden of Gethsemane. He's in the garden of Gethsemane. He's on his way to the cross. Yes, sir. And there are a lot of things that's going on with him. And watch this, family. Don't, don't get this twisted. Please don't get this twisted. There's a lot going on in this world. And if we're not careful, listen, we'll get tangled up in this world, man. We'll get caught up in this right. cycle of things, man. We'll get caught up in this twisted, and we'll be carried away just right. like everybody else. You're and right, God sir. is saying, you're my people. You belong to me. You, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to be walking in that. Different authority. Come on, sir. You, you're just passing through this land. Mm -hmm. Luke 22, starting at verse 39. Amen. And he came out and went as he was wont. Watch this to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples also followed him. That's what he told them to do. Is that right? Right. Amen. And when he was at the place, he said unto them. 
Watch now. Pray that you enter not into temptation. What is he telling them to do? Stay focused. Stay focused. Because prayer help you yeah. stay, stay focused. Y'all yeah. see? Right. Yes, sir. Amen. The reason, yeah. listen, Tanya, the reason the world is protesting is because they can't pray. Mm -hmm. And the world can't focus mm -hmm. because they don't have nobody leading them. Mm -hmm. That's that's light anyway. They got a lot of darkness leading them. Come so on, they sir. all, they all headed to the same ditch, John. Uh -huh. They all headed to the same ditch. But Jesus tell them, why is it because, listen, this is how you stay focused. In the midst of all the hate is going on around you, yeah. the way you stay focused is pray so you don't get into the food of this world. Right. 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 So that right. you don't get carried away and start doing the things they're doing, mm -hmm. saying the things they say. Uh -huh. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Watch now verse 41. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone cast and kneeled down and prayed. Jesus is showing them, listen, we got to stay focused. Yeah. We know what time it is. We know what's going on. I told you I came here for this, but we're going to stay focused regardless. Yeah. That's right. Watch now verse 42. Saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. See, that's what prayer will cause you to do. That's what prayer will cause you to say, David. I know I'm in my flesh right now, but nevertheless, not my will. Your will be done. Right. Because why? Deny because yourself. I got to deny myself and remember, I got to remember my center of interest. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's not about my will being done. Come it's about on. his. On, it's not about me being glorified. It's about him being That's glorified. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Come on, family. Verse 43. Watch this here. And there appeared an angel. Oh, I love this right here. You see what happens? Yeah. You see what God do for you when you stay focused? He does. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven and strengthened him. You see how God will strengthen you in the midst of the foolishness that's yeah. going on in this world. God will come along and strengthen you. Thank you. I'm talking about God will come along and strengthen you. I'm not talking about he said your brother iron sharp and I'm talking about God himself strengthening you. I know I'm sharp and I understand all that, but sometimes your brother can't get to you. Mm -hmm. And God will send that angel to strengthen you. Thank you. Right. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Verse number 44, why this? And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. This is how you stay focused right here, little bit. This, this is how you stay focused right here because watch this. Your prayer got to be intentional. It's got to yeah. be purpose and it's got to be aimed at the target. Mm -hmm. You can't be praying general prayers. Yeah. Preach, no, no, I need you to knock that wall right there down. I, I need I need for that storm right there to go away. Mm. I need for whatever the name of that thing is right there to be cast out. You can't be praying general. You can't generalize no prayers right now. You got to be intentional in your praying. Right. It says he prayed more earnestly. Mm -hmm. I'm serious about this here. Yeah. Mm. When you're going to get serious, I'm serious about this. We ain't playing right now. Right? Watch what it says. And, and being, we're still in verse 44, and being in, ang in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Watch this. And his sweat was as it was great drops of blood falling to the ground. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Watch now, watch now, watch now. I, I got to go, I got to go a little bit further here because I see something I didn't see. Mm -hmm. And when he arose up from prayer, yeah. mm -hmm. he was gone to his disciples and he found them sleeping for sorrow. Watch this now, verse 46. Mm -hmm. He yeah. said unto them, why sleep ye? Mm -hmm. Rise and pray, lest you enter into temptation. Yes, on, sir. Yes. God, I need you to stay you focused. Pray. And Don't get pray. your prayer on. If you ain't praying, you're going to enter into temptation. Mm -hmm. You're going to be tempted to walk just like this world. Mm -hmm. You're going to be tempted to act just like this world. That's right. Mm -hmm. I need you to stay focused. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what's going on in this world, you stay focused. You notice how double-minded our world is right now, our government them is right now. You see how double-minded. Mm -hmm. If you look at all these little old, what you call them, Reverend, all these little things, these little laws or whatever they put in place for these mm -hmm. matches, if you look at these orders, you can tell they contradict themselves. Right. It don't make sense, the stuff they say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You outside, you gotta wear a mask outside and, and do social media, but you get on a plane and sit next to somebody that don't need a mask. Come on, man. Right. What kind of sense right. is that? Right. Where the air is. Right. Recircling. Right. 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 Right.
I don't know if you can get on a plane and rub elbows with your neighbor and, they, and get, get real close to your neighbor now. Touch your neighbor, high five your neighbor, hug your neighbor, kiss your neighbor, and you ain't got to have a mask on on the plane. Mm -hmm. And you ain't going to get sick on the plane. Man, the devil is alive, man. Right. Mm -hmm. You going to put me in that little tight space and tell me I'm not going to get sick there? Mm -hmm. But you tell me I got to, I, I, outside. Mm -hmm. I'm outside. Mm -hmm. And you tell me I got to do social distance, but I'm outside. Mm -hmm. You put me in a huge building like Walmart or somewhere, and you tell me I got to put a mask on. But you can put me on a plane and I don't need one? Right. Let, 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 let's go to Matthew chapter 26. You got to stay focused. See, because the world ain't focused, y'all. The world is not focused. They don't know who to center their interests on. They have none. Matthew 26. Uh, let's go to verse number. Let me get over here first so I can tell you. Verse 36, please. We're going to start at verse 36. Verse 36. And we're going to probably go to verse 46. Just if, if we don't, just put Matthew 26, 36 to 46, for a chance. All right. We, we're still in the garden. We're still in the garden. We're still in the garden. But but every 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 account says something just a little different. Mm -hmm. It makes it just it's the same story, but it's important that we see the little differences in each each account. Mm -hmm. Okay. Watch this. Then came Jesus with them unto the place called Gethsemane. It didn't say that in the previous text. Right. Watch right. now. Watch now. And said unto his disciples, set you here while I go and pray yonder. Y'all see that, right? Yeah. Watch this now. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Now, the, the last text, it says he took the disciples. Mm -hmm. But now he's being specific because all of them came, but they all didn't enter into the garden. All right. Okay. Verse 38. Then said he unto them. My soul is exceeding sorrowful even unto death. Carry here, watch now, ye here, and watch with me. What is he saying? Stay focused with me. Mm -hmm. right. Come on, y'all. Yeah. He says, right. stay focused with, with me. me. Yes. Watch with me. Stay focused with me. Or stay focused on me. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Verse 39. And, and went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, as, not as I will, but as thy will. Right. See, this is what prayer is going to do for you. Prayer is going to get you out your flesh, even though you're in it. Prayer is going to pull you out your flesh and in the will of God. Amen. It helps you to stay focused, family. Amen. Verse 40. And, and he came uh, uh, unto his disciples, and he finded them asleep, and he said, Peter, look, he, look, he's specific now. Before, he just talked about the disciples. Now right. he's talking to Peter. Mm -hmm. Watch now, Peter. Yeah. What? What? Could could ye not watch with me one hour? <laughs> what, Reverend, why is this important? Because that's how quick the, 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 the world changed their mind. Uh -huh. That's how quick the enemy, I mean, the world loses their focus. Uh-huh. One minute I'm looking at this, next minute I'm, that's why you got to really be kept on your social media, and I don't even have it. But social media keep you flipping, flopping like a fish out of water. Mm -hmm. You hearing this here before you get, you hearing that over there, and you hearing that over there, and you don't even know who to follow, but you're following everybody. Uh -huh. All right. And it's confused. I'm not even older than the but I know it's confusion on there. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. And, and the majority of them ain't find the Holy Ghost. They find their own theology. Right. Oh, sir. Yeah. If, if we all find the Holy Ghost, seem like to me the Holy Ghost ain't going to have us like that, y'all. The Holy Ghost ain't telling everybody something different, man. Mm -hmm. That's not the Holy Spirit because that's not order. Sure. All of them out there got their own theology. They being led by their own spirit. It ain't the Holy One. Here we go, here we go. Peter, couldn't you, couldn't you not watch me one hour? Then he says in verse 41, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. Watch this. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is 
We. Y'all see the differences we. in the text? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now watch what he's saying. He said, you, I know your flesh is weak, but that's why I'm telling you, I need you to stay focused. I, I need you to stay focused, and I need for watch this. I need you to walk in the spirit so you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right. Verse 42. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. If I got to drink it, okay, okay, so be it. So be it. Verse 43, and he came and he found them asleep again. again. Mm. Their eyes weary uh, uh, were heavy. And he, he left them, watch this, and went away again and prayed the third time. Saying the, the same, same words. words. That's because he's focused, family. Right. Right. He's focused. Watch now, watch now. Then he cometh to his disciples and said unto them, sleep on now. Take your rest, for all the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be gone. Behold, he that is at hand doeth, watch this, I'm sorry, behold, he is at hand that do betray me. He's letting them know how focused, look how focused he is, Linda, look how focused he is. How detailed he is, regardless of what they're doing, I'm still going to stay focused. You want to go to sleep? You don't want to pay attention? Okay, you go ahead on and do what you got to do. You do what you're doing, but it's something I got to do. Watch this here. Somebody got to stay focused. Right. That's, that's right. 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 That's Somebody right. got to stay focused. Somebody got to stay woke. Somebody got yeah. to do it. Yeah. And we need to choose that we as a church need to be the one that's not going to go to sleep. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thanks. Come on, Lord. I need for you to stay focused. We need you to stay focused. Let's look at Mark chapter 14. Mark chapter 14. Can y'all handle this? Yes, sir. Mark chapter 14. We're going to look at verse uh, 30. You know, 32, I think. Yeah, verse 32. We started verse 32. To, and we may go. Yeah. Just go ahead and put 32 to 42, uh, Mark 14, 32 to 42. Amen. We're still in the garden of Gethsemane, but each account, mother, each account say something there. It's the same account, but, but there's a little bit more emphasis, a little bit more detail here, a little bit more that. And it's important that you hear it because it's necessary. Say it's necessary. It's necessary. <laughs> here we go, verse 32. And yep. they came to a place which was named... Gethsemane. And he said unto his disciples, set ye here while I shall pray. And he take it with him, who? Peter, James, and John. Watch this. And began to be so amazed and to be very heavy. And he said unto them, my soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. Carry here. And what? Watch. Watch. Stay focused. Stay focused. And he went forward a little and he fell on the ground and prayed that if it was possible, the hour might pass from him. Now it's not even talking about the cup. It's talking about just the hour. Mm -hmm. Why the hour? Because he knows everything that's going to transpire in the hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Because he is more than just the cup. Mm -hmm. The cup is. Okay. okay. He says, watch this. Now we see in verse 36. Now he says, Abba, Father, mm -hmm. all things are possible. That's right. Unto thee. Y'all see this, right? Mm -hmm. Our Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me, nevertheless, not what I will, but what thou will. And he cometh and he findeth them sleep. And he said to Peter again, Simon, sleepest thou? Could it not thou watch one hour? Watch ye pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spiritual is what? Ready. Watch now, this is important. He didn't say willing, now he say ready. See, listen. He said the spirit is ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch this what this means now because see, the spirit is always wanting to do what God won't done. All right. right. The spirit always wants to do what God and the spirit is always ready while the flesh is trying to figure out what it's gonna do. Right. Mm -hmm. right. The flesh is always wanting to make up its own mind how he's gonna do what it and choose it. But the spirit is always ready to do 
what God uh, won't done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. That's why the Holy Spirit is, that's why the Bible said don't quench the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Allow the Spirit to be the Spirit in your life because he's the one leading and guiding you. He's also the one that's empowering you to do what God is calling you to do. He's ready. Mm -hmm. So now the only thing that's going to stop you from doing it is you quenching the Spirit because the Spirit is ready. ready. Verse 39, again, he went away and he prayed. And he spake the same word because he's staying focused. And when he returned, he found them what? Sleep again, for their eyes were heavy. Neither was they what to answer him. Watch this. They don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh -uh. Mm. I mean, what do you say? What can you say? You, what can you say? Mm. After God had told you to do something, what can you say? Right. Other than repent, what can you say? Mm -hmm. For your rebellion, what can you say? Uh -oh. For your stiff neckness, what uh, can you say? All right. I repent. That's it. Yeah. You know what to say. Say it. I repent. That's what you say. And he came the third time and said unto them, sleep on. Take your rest. It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise up, let's, let us go. Lord, he that betrayed me is at hand. You got to understand something. You got to stay focused because the president is going to betray you. Uh -oh. The world is going to betray you. Uh -oh. they, they really believe that, that the, 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 the president uh, got these folk out here trying to find a cure. They don't, they're not trying to find no cure for you. Mm -hmm. You're going to be betrayed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they're making the world think that they're really working hard at finding a cure. Amen. They ain't working hard to find a cure for AIDS, to right. find a cure for cancer. Right. Come on here. Mm -hmm. That's right. Don't you know you could be healed from cancer now if they let you be healed from yeah. cancer? Amen. Amen. All right. right. I say, don't you know if they were to... Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Come on. They don't want you healed. Because they're legal drug dealers. They don't yeah. want you healed. Mm. They're peddling drugs. They don't That's want right. you healed. It's billions and trillions of dollars in medicine. Yeah. They don't yeah. want you healed. They're greedy. They don't want you healed. Mm -hmm. So they're not trying to find no cure for COVID-19. Mm -hmm. right. They want you sick. Mm -hmm. They want you dead. I'm going to throw this in there. You can catch it if you want to uh -oh. when you come down. Go. You gotta understand something. Yeah. COVID ain't no different than nothing else that's killing people around right. here. People right. dying that's every right. second somebody yeah. died. Yeah. So why we so why we so caught up in folk dying from COVID? Right. When folk dying from everything, all kinds of stuff every yeah, day, right. all day long. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It ain't no different than nothing else. Mm -hmm. It's a disease just like any other disease. And yeah. you need Jesus to be healed. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And you need Jesus That's to be healed. Right. I don't care what it is. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You stay focused. Mm -hmm. You stay focused. Mm -hmm. You stay focused. You stay focused. And I'll get on this limb by myself. I say, you stay focused, mm -hmm. and that thing will not come nigh you. All right. That thing will not come nigh you. That thing will not come nigh you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you can call, call me when you want. You can call me when you want. But you're not going to call me sick from COVID. Mm. Amen. You call me when you want. You can call me when you want. But you're not going to call me unfaithful from COVID. Amen. You can call right. me what you want. Yes, sir. But you're not going to call me afraid. You call me what you want. All right. Yes, yeah. sir. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. And yeah, devil hear everything I'm saying and I ain't yeah. scared. He know I ain't scared. All right. He know it. Yes, Lord. He know I ain't scared. My name on the list. Yeah. Jesus I know. Paul I know. And Bishop John Stevenson I know. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, you ain't got to say nothing if you're scared. You ain't got to say nothing. You know what your name on that list? You ain't got to say nothing. You put your name on that list. Yeah. Amen. He respect that list. Regardless of what's going on in your world, you stay focused on what the Lord is saying to you, Colossians chapter 3. Come on, run with me, y'all. Colossians chapter 3. No, I'm not being ignorant and I'm not being unwise. Somebody going to have to stand up and be the church. Somebody got to do it. 
that ever healed his name Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Colossians chapter 3, starting at verse number 1. <clears throat> We're going to say from 1 to 10, may not go to 10, but say from 1 to 10. Amen. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 10. Let me know when y'all get there. Amen. 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 I'm, I'm trying to walk as fast as I can, David. Okay. Watch this. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, above where Christ set it on the right hand of God. God said, get your face up off the ground. Get your eyes off the ground. Amen. Get your eyes off this world and the things that are going on down here. Hallelujah. And put your eyes up on high. Get your eyes off this stuff that's going on down here. I remember when I was in the army, ain't no sense in looking down, ain't no discharge on the ground. Why are you looking down there? Keep your head up. Why are you looking down there? What you're looking for is not down there. God said, what you're looking for ain't down here. Hallelujah. You lift your eyes up to the hills when we're coming your help for real. Your help is not down here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not down here. He said, set your affections, verse number two. Set your, uh, your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Y'all see that? Yeah. He said, for ye, for ye are dead. And your lives are hid in Christ and God. When Christ, who is our our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members, watch this, which are upon the earth. Watch this now, fornication, uncleanness, uh, inordinate affections, evil concupiscence, uh, uh, covetousness, which is idolatry. For such, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. So you see why things are going on on this earth like it is, right? right. Yeah. 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 Why? Why they talking about the devil? What the devil do? No, no. This is God. This is God. This is God. This is God. The children of disobedience. Watch this. In the which also walk some. I'm sorry. In the which ye also walk sometime. When you live in them, you, you don't, you're not there no more. Thank but you. now you are. You also put off the old thing. You put off all, all these things: anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy conversation out of your mouth. Lying not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, with his deeds. Mm -hmm. and have put on the new man. Watch now, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Amen. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythians, bond nor free, both Christ is all and in all. Amen. Listen, this, this, look, he said, you need to take your eyes off this world and the things that are going on. Listen, y'all got to hear God. He said, because that stuff is not important. Right. Amen. It's not important. We're making too much out of it. We're making it too big. Mm -hmm. Making it too big. It has its place. It, it has its place, family, but we're making it too big. That's right. We're spending too much time on it. it, it listen, yeah. it, it's, it's like a stray dog that you feed. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. I've always been told, John, don't feed no stray animals mm -hmm. because you feed them, they come back. Exactly. Uh -huh. And the more you feed them, the more they come back. And before you know it, they fat and fluffy and plump, and you can't get rid of them. Now they ain't leaving. Huh. <laughs> That's what they're doing with this. Amen. Right. right. It was just a stray dog, mm -hmm. Sister Elaine, just a stray dog. Mm -hmm. Just a stray dog got to wander into America. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't feed it. Mm -hmm. But we started right. feeding it. Yeah. Started giving it all the attention. That's what feeding it is. Giving mm -hmm. it all the attention. Now that thing got big, yeah. plump and plump. Now it don't want to go nowhere. Amen. 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 Right. Mm. Y'all got to, I hope y'all listen to Holy Ghost right now. Yeah. He say, he say, I need for you to think on things contrary to the world. Not contrary to God, but contrary to the world. Philippians chapter 4, come on. Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, let's look at verse 6 and 6 through 9. Amen. Amen. chapter 4, verse 6 through 9. Y'all ready? Yeah. He said, Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplications. With thanksgiving, let your 
request be made known unto God. Watch this. And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through who? Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Finally, because we're talking about, watch this, we're talking about staying focused. Mm -hmm. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Verse 9. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and, heard and, and seen heard. in me do, watch right now, and the God of peace shall be with you. Alright. Man, Amen. come on here. Don't make me Amen. do it. Come on here. Listen, family, listen. You can have the peace of God in your life if you keep your mind on the things of God, regardless to what is going on in the world. Isaiah 26 and 3, Reverend, That's you right it. on it. That's it. Isaiah 26 and 3. Isaiah 26 and 3, y'all there? See, God, that's why God wants you to stay focused. The world don't have no peace right now. There's no peace in the world. Right. There is no peace in the world, John. No peace in the world, man. Everybody trying to figure out if, if I'm going to die tomorrow, if I'm going to catch this disease. If I'm gonna, it's just, I mean, it's not funny. It's funny, but it's not funny because that's no way to exist. That's not right. nothing. That's no way to exist. Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is staying on thee, focused on thee, because he trusts in thee. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. I, I keep my mind on him because I trust him. Mm -hmm. I stay focused on him. Why? Because I trust him. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Watch this now. You can have a peace. You can have the peace of God. You can have the peace of God if you keep your mind. If you keep your mind on the things of God, regardless. He say, don't fret. He say, don't, oh, I'm sorry, John 14, 27. Got to take you there. John 14, 27. I almost missed that, Lord. Thank you. John 14, 27. Uh -huh. Jesus? Peace. Thank you, Lord. I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen, Lord. John 14, 27. Amen. We there? Yes, sir. He said, peace I leave with you. My peace, peace I peace. give unto you. This is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Not as the world giveth, I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. See, when I, when I put my trust in God, if I keep my eyes on him, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it. Let's go over here to Psalms 27, I mean 37. Psalm 37. He said, fret not yourself about the evilness in this world. He said, don't fret over the evilness in this world. 37. Verse 1 through 11. <clears throat> Y'all ready? Psalm 37. Psalm yes, 37, verse 1 through 11. Amen. Y'all ready? Fret not yourself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. He said, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and withered as green herbs. He said, trust in the Lord and do good. Mm -hmm. This verse 3. So shall thou dwell it in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy ways. This is on my focus. Oh, Commit yeah. thy ways unto the Lord. Trust also in him. Watch this. And he shall bring it to pass. Watch now. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord. Stand you see, and wait patiently for him. Yes. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Y'all see that? Yeah. He says, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while the wicked shall not be. Y'all see Amen. this? This is going right. to come to pass. Right. This is going to come to pass. Right. Yet thou shalt diligently consider his place. And it shall be it shall not be. But the meek 
shall inherit the earth mm -hmm. and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Y'all yes, see that? Amen. In the abundance of yes, Lord. peace. Yes, Lord. He said, watch this here. This, this is the part I love. We just about finished. We got about three most passive scriptures. Watch this here. He said this. He said, what is it to you? Mm -hmm. He said, this garbage going on out here. He said, what is mm -hmm. it to you? All right. Why are you focused on it? What is it to you? Why Why do it matter to yeah. you? Mm -hmm. I, I, I need y'all to pray about this right here. Because I know, I know the people watching are going to be mad about this. Uh, why is this your family? He said, listen. He said, he said, this stuff that's going on is not important. It's not that important. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, we didn't acknowledge it. Yeah. Come on, we yes. acknowledged it, and we just said we're doing something about it. Okay, so let it go and do something about it. Yes. But let it alone. Right, that's right. Let it alone. That's right. Stop feeding that dog. Yeah. Let it alone. The more you feed it, the bigger it gets, the more yeah. power you give it. He said, what is it to you? Why are you so concerned? I'm getting ready to take right. it. Why are you so concerned about it? Yeah. Let's go over here to John chapter 21. Walk it down, please. Jesus getting ready to leave. And his disciples, they inquire about other disciples. Hey, what is it to you? Ain't your business what I'm going to do then. What is it to you? Hmm. We're in John chapter 21, the gospel of John chapter 21. Starting at verse number 20. Amen. Verse number 20 to about verse 23 is the part we're going focused. with. This. Stay, Stay focused. focused, family. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. I got to get my eyes off this stuff that's going on in the world. Right. Watch this, family. God told us to pray about it. Yes. That's what he told listen, us. Listen, yes. family. Listen, he told us to pray. Yes. That's what he told us he to did. do. That's right. He didn't tell us to he protest. He didn't mm -hmm. tell us to, look, 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 okay, what they call it, you got the violent protest, you got the He didn't tell us to peaceful protest, violent. He didn't tell us to protest, period. That's right. He didn't tell us to do it. And nowhere in Scripture is there the principle of protesting. Nowhere in Scripture. Pizza. Nowhere in the scripture. When Jesus sent his disciples out, watch this here. He sent them out one, or he sent them out two by two. But he sent them out to spread the gospel. He sent nobody to protest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He sent them out to evangelize. He didn't send nobody to protest. Right. right That's right. Nobody. You don't even see the principle of protesting because I looked, Timothy. The principle of protesting <laughs> is nowhere in the Bible. Uh, amen. So I couldn't just stand up here and say I had to go look. And the principle is not there. Preach, sir. He said, I told my people to pray. I didn't tell my people to protest. I he said, folk right. protest who can't pray. Uh -huh. Because folk protest, watch this, folk protest want to be heard. He said, but I need for them to hear me. I don't need for them to hear I you. Know, I need for them to hear me. Great revelation. Thank you, Jesus. I need for them to hear me. Protesters want to be heard. Right. That's what they're doing it for. Yeah. I want my voice to be heard. I want you to hear me, hear me, hear me. Hmm. For what? Jesus needs to be heard. Because he's the only one that changes hearts. He's the only one that can change anything. Protesting has not changed anything. I don't care what nobody try to make you believe. I love Martin Luther King, but his protesting didn't change nothing. That's right. Let me show you what protest has done. It's put us in harm's way. Protest give way to the devil. Y'all see, I'm on the All right. Y'all don't like that. All right. Y'all don't, like don't like that. Protest calls the enemy to do bad things to you. Because the enemy say you deserve it because you put yourself out here. You know when you come out here what I'm going to do, you must be glutton for punishment. You know I do it every time you come out here. Uh, all right. Every time you come out here, I do this to you. Why you keep coming out here? You must like it. <laughs> all right. You glutton for punishment. Amen. Now, the people watching, viewing me right now, that don't get no right. It don't get the devil right. The devil is walking around seeking who he can devour. Right. And if you put yourself on his playground, you free game. Right. Amen. Anytime you do a thing that God didn't tell you to do, you free, free game. game. Amen. All right. All right. When Martin Luther King, the Christian that he was, God didn't tell him to protest. He went out there and protest. Watch this here. Now watch this now. Watch this. When Moses went to Egypt, the only reason his brother went because he was talking about he started, couldn't talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But once uh, Aaron got there, it. Moses did all the talking. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. He sure did. He did all the talking. Mm -hmm. There was no protest against Egypt and mm -hmm. Pharaoh. When God said, no, 
Now, now, listen, listen now. They marching with Martin Luther King. Okay, they marching with him. But God didn't send them out there. They figured, okay, just like everybody else, you know how you get in your flesh. They need to hear us. We need to stand up. Watch this, they weren't standing up for God, they were standing up for black people. And they were standing up for people, the rights of people. Y'all don't want to talk to me, but it's okay. We standing up for the rights of people. What, what about what God was saying? No, what about God? God told us to pray. He didn't say march, he said pray. Come on, Bishop. Come on, Bishop. I know it's history. And I know everybody reading it. All right. But all protests did was put people in harm's way and got people hurt. That's all protesting did, and that's all protesting is doing now. It got stuff tore up, and it's still getting stuff tore up. Yeah. Mm. All right. That's all it's ever done, and that's all it's still doing. All right. Mm. All you do is give way to the devil. You give place to the devil when you do it. Listen. I've taught y'all, you don't go out there evangelizing unless God saves you. Amen. Unless you That's get right. yourself prayed up and you go out there, you don't go out there messing with that devil waiting on you out there. Mm -hmm. You go where God tells you to go, when you yeah. prayed you up to go. That's mm -hmm. right. Other than that, you stay your behind across that street over there. <laughs> because all you do is give place to the devil. That's all you right. do. Mm -hmm. Now you take yourself out of the hedge of the protection of God. I know y'all don't like the mm. truth. To the whole truth. Like truth. Yeah. Hard yeah. That was fair. Mm. We in John chapter 21, <laughs> verse 20. Amen. Protesting ain't helped nothing, it ain't changed nothing. But we still doing it, John. Yeah. Like it's changing something. Mm. And people still getting hurt. Mm. Yeah. Mm. John 21, verse 20. Then Peter turned about, seeing the disciples who Jesus loved following, which also leaned on his breast at supper and said, Lord, which is he that betrayed thee? Peter, seeing him, said to Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? Jesus said unto him, if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to you? Mm -hmm. you follow. follow me. Right. Y'all yeah, see this? Right. Listen to what yeah. God is saying. What, what, what is that to you? Right. Exactly. You follow me. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what they're doing, yeah. you follow me. Why are you so concerned about that when it has nothing to do with you? I told you if you come out of that world and you leave that world alone, be separate from that world, none of these plagues and diseases will come upon you. Come on, I will sir. keep them out. That's in your Bible, family. Come on, yeah. sir. All right. That's in your Bible. Listen, I love you, and I am concerned. It is wrong what they're doing, but God told me to pray. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pray, and prayer is going to change things. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. It changes things. It changes. Linda, I am not being convicted by what I'm saying here because I know this is straight from God. All right. Verse number 23. Then went, then went this saying abroad among the brethren that, that the disciples should not die. Yet Jesus said, not him, he shall not die. But if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to you? Mm -hmm. What business of that is yours? Is that, what business is of yours what I, what I do? God is saying to us, family, he said, what business is it? Why are you paying so much attention to that? Mm -hmm. Why are you not doing what I told you to do? Mm -hmm. I didn't tell you to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I right. told you to stay focused and pray. Mm -hmm. focused. Because watch this, if you ain't praying, watch what you're doing. You entered into temptation. Right. Mm -hmm. You entered into temptation. But I told you to watch and pray so you don't enter into temptation. So you can turn away from your sin, your wicked ways, and I'll, I'll forgive you your sin, and then I can heal this land. I don't know why we don't like that verse of scripture. I don't know why we ain't paying attention to it. When that's the thing that we've been told to do, that's the thing that we're not doing. I'm talking about as the church, we're not doing that, because if the church was doing that, we'd see the change in this mm -hmm. land. I tell you what I do see, I see a lot of sin in the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
that God is calling folk to repent of. Come on, sir. That's what I see. Yes, sir. He said, keep your eyes lifted up toward God. Because that's where your help comes from. All right. Write down Psalms 121. That's where your help comes from. I'll read it for you. I will look in my eyes unto the hills from which coming my help, my help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth, uh, he that keepeth will not slumber. But he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from how much evil? All oh. evil, and shall preserve thy soul. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall preserve thy going and thy coming in from this time forth, even forever and ever. Last verse of scripture we're going to look at is Luke chapter 21. I need for you to stay focused. God said, I need for you to stay focused. Yeah, I am compassionate about this. I am. I am. I am. And this is a cry to the church. This is a cry to the church. Luke 21, and we're looking at verse 25 to 28. Amen. Y'all ready for this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is going to wrap this thing up for your wife because we're not paying attention. We're not focused. We lost focus. Jesus told us when we saw things like this and heard things like this, yep. what we to do. he told us what we ought to do. He said, listen, he said, the end is not yet, but it's near. Yeah. If I can get you to stay focused, you'll see the signs. I'm going to read this lady. Luke 21, verse 25 to 20. Listen to this. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations and perplexity, the, uh, the, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them in for fear. Mm. Y'all see that? Mm. Men's heart failing them for fear. There are a lot of people getting sick and dying because of fear. That's right. Simply because of fear, people That's die. Right. Mm. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. He said, For the power of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draws nigh. Thank you, Y'all see that? Amen. We're not supposed Amen. to be we're not supposed to be down here like creepy crawlers on the ground and paying attention mm -hmm. to everything, focus to everything on this ground, on this earth. God says, why is this so important to you? Why does it matter so much to you? If you do what I told you to do, you ain't even concerned about that. That's right. Right. You're not concerned about this. You're going to go on about your business. Mm -hmm. You ain't trying to walk around people and you see people. You, you don't know which way to. <laughs> That's right. You come on. I'm going to stop moving. You come on. I'm gonna open the door for you. I'm gonna let you, whatever you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out because it, somebody gonna hurt yourself and it ain't gonna be me. <laughs> Why well, y'all You know what I'm saying? I, the, listen, the Bible said the thing that Job feared the most came upon him. Right. Yeah. Came up on him. That's right. We, we gotta stay focused, man. We gotta stop it, and we gotta stay focused. Philippians two five. Read it for me, Reverend, right quick. Pull it in 2.5. Our, our mind, our mind, bro, Timothy, our mind got to change. We got to stop thinking like this world right now, man. Because it's, it's hurting us. Read it for us, Reverend. Let this mind be in you, mm -hmm. which was also in Christ Jesus. Why is that important? You, because you got to stay focused. Yeah, Jesus, like Jesus stay focused. Yeah. 
in the midst of everything that went on with him, he never lost focus. On the cross, he dying. On the cross, he dying. He stayed humble. But he stayed holy. He stayed focused, family. He stayed focused. They talking about him. They throwing stuff at him. They spitting at him. They doing all that. But he stayed focused. You know how I know he stayed focused? Because he, he said, no Father, idea. he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. He stayed focused in the midst of all of it. The Bible says he said not a word. After they were beating on him and the thing pulling his beard out of him, he didn't say a word. Why? Because he stayed focused. He on his way to God, God the man, and they crying on the side of the road. He said, don't weep for me. Mm -hmm. Weep for yourself. Don't weep for me. I know why I'm here. Family, we got to know why we're here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we have to start participating. Listen, we have to start acting like we know why we're here and do what we know to do. Amen. We got to stay focused right now. It's, it's too much at stake. It's too much at stake. And I don't mean no harm, but I got to say it like this. People dying on our watch. People dying because of stuff we're not doing. Mm -hmm. There's some blood that's going to be required on our hands. There's some blood going to be required on our hands. Because we're not doing what we've been told to do. Now, let me tell you what's amazing. Out of everything they're doing, out of everything they're doing, they say the church don't have to wear a mask. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Come on, come Amen. see. Amen. Listen, I, listen, listen. God showing you something, though. God showing you something because see, that's what's been keeping a lot of folk from church. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Mm -hmm. See, that's what's been keeping a lot of folk from church. Preach, Bishop. Okay, now, now you don't have to wear a mask, but if you want a mask, wear it, wear it. Put on the whole, what do they call the whole mop suit if you want? Yeah, right. Amen. Ain't nobody gonna be mad. Oh, mm -hmm. Ain't nobody gonna be upset. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody gonna talk about you. Mm -hmm. But don't let it be excuse for you not to assemble yourself together. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Don't let it be excuse for you not doing what God has called and purposed us to do as a church. Mm -hmm. Now the governor say the church is essential. Mm. All right. said, the church is essential and that's God that's God that's right. see the power of healing is in my house it's in my house mm -hmm. you, you can't go nowhere else and get what I can give you in my house come on sir can't go nowhere else and get it you can't go to the hospital you can't go nowhere else and get what I can put in my house for you you gotta come here to get it and stand away and tell me you don't want it amen you don't believe in it how your back feels? Hmm. Uh huh. Hmm. Healing is in this house. All right. Yeah. Power now, sir. Yeah, yeah, power. The power of the Lord Jesus Christ is in this house. Actively in this house. Amen. Amen. See, can't no fear be in here because too much faith in here. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Can't no fear stay here because too much faith in here. And no afflictions, Reverend, is in here. And you're not going to come here and get sick. All right. Hallelujah. All right. Amen. You come here and get well, but you're not going to come here and get sick. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Speak back, sir. God wants us to stay focused. He wants us to stay focused. And if we stay focused, if we stay focused, God said the things that are going on in this world will not come nigh you. Mm -hmm. It will not touch you. Listen, family, the reason that's got, to, that's got to be true is because if it's not, then God is a liar. Hmm. Right. Then God is a liar. He said, my people, those of you who walk in faith will, will, be, will not be made ashamed of. That's the word, sir. He said, you will not be made ashamed of if you that's walk right. in faith with him. That's right. Amen. That's right. I know a little bit about this Bible, man. I may not know everything, but I know enough. And those who are watching, you need to stay focused right now. Do not allow the things that are going on in this world to cause you to lose focus. Set your eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ and follow him. He got a plan, a fail-proof plan. And if you follow Jesus, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You ain't got nothing to worry about. 
And so here we are, here we are, we're at that place in our service right now to where if I don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, here's the time where I put my trust in him. All my trust. I put my trust in the Lord. And let it be known, let it be known, this is, this is not to offend anybody, but everybody not children of God. If you have not been adopted into the faith, if you not, don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, you're not a child of God. You're part of creation, but you're not a child of God. You're going to have to get born again. You're going to have to get saved for that to happen. You can't just be a child of somebody that's other than your natural parents. you got to be adopted into the family to carry that name. You can't just walk around and carry anybody's name. And just anybody's not responsible for you, your parents are. Well, guess what? Jesus want to be responsible for you. God want to be responsible for you. He wants you to be his child. He wants you to have eternal life with him. That's what he wants. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to pray the prayer of salvation because that's what it is. The prayer of salvation is a transitional prayer. You hear a lot of people say you can come to God as you are. No, you can't. You can't come to God as you are. You can't come to God as you are. You have to transition. Your heart has to change to come to God. Your heart has to change. Because therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away, but all now all things become new. You can't stay a sinner and come to him. You're going to have to get saved. It's called the prayer of salvation. Mm -hmm. It's a transitional prayer. Moses got to the burning bush and God told him to stop. Take them shoes off. Because you're standing on holy ground. If Moses hadn't have took them shoes off, God wouldn't have had nothing else to say to him. That's right. He had to take them shoes off. I got to let Jesus in my life. Revelation 3.20 says, he said, I stand at the door and I'm knocking if any man. Hear my voice and open the door. He said, I'll come in and sup with him and him with me. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, I have to confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. That's how I got to get saved. I got to get saved according to the scriptures, not according to my own. I got to get saved according to the scriptures. With the mouth man speaketh the confession, but he believed unto salvation with his heart. And so we're going to pray the prayer of salvation. And if you pray this prayer out of a sincere prayer, life begins anew for you. Let's pray together. Father God in heaven, I surrender my life to you. I ask you to forgive me of my sins and I repent of my sins. And I accept and receive of your son Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior to reign and to rule in my life from this day forward. Father God in heaven, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will fill me with your Holy Spirit that now lives on the inside of me. Teach me how to obey your commandments and walk in your statutes, and I promise with your help to follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So, friend, if you pray that prayer right there, you just got born again. You just became an heir of God and a joint heir with the Lord Jesus Christ. You just got adopted into the family of God. And if you prayed that prayer, I'm going to ask you to do just like Jesus asked the disciples. Why don't you just take a step, just as a sign of you beginning to follow Jesus, just stand up and take a step. Uh, just like we ask people if they've accepted Jesus here to come down the aisle and let us render right hand of fellowship to them. Get up and take a step, family, as a uh, as a symbol of you starting to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Next thing I want to tell you to do, next thing I want to tell you to do, if you've done that, tell somebody today that you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Find you a church. Let God lead you to a church, a good Bible-teaching, Bible-based, Jesus-loving church mm -hmm. so that you can serve him there. Don't just go to church, a place where you can serve him to where you can be, be nurtured and to where you can grow. Your Heavenly Father is God, but the church is your mother. You need a mother and a father. So you Amen. need to go to church so your mama can help to raise you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Let us know if you've given your life to Christ today. Send us a note or a message or something. We want to put a little something in your hand. We want to send something to you to help you with your journey as a new believer. God bless you and God keep you. That's our prayer for you. 
All right. Bye-bye now.